My name is Daniel Chung. I'm a former admission officer at Stanford University, Rice University, as well as Swarthmore College. I'm also a former college counselor, and I've been doing work, you know, supporting students with strategy since 2018. And I guess even before then, if you think about the admissions experience. So excited to bring my knowledge to the table. I think that it's always about kind of you knowing in your high school what your options are and what students typically do to gain challenge in that curriculum. It's kind of expected that no matter what type of curriculum you're in, you achieve it at the very highest level of what's possible in your high school. Beyond that, it kind of depends on the individual profile, like I mentioned with maybe taking some extra classes, you know, online outside of your high school but it's very universally expected that they do the best job that they can with whatever has been offered to them. So if you're in a AP curriculum that offers 26 APs and the top 10 students routinely take 20, that's probably gonna be the expectation for that student. On the other hand, if you're in an A-level or IB curriculum where you're very limited in what you can take, again, you should still be doing it at the highest level, but it's gonna look a little bit different and that's okay. It's all normed for the high school.